everyone. Welcome to STEM with Chantel. I'm Chantel and this is Amy. Today, we will be showing you how to make a weather report using a green screen. So in this video, we'll cover a list of supplies you'll need, how to import, edit, and export your video in Filmora, and what your final project will look like. So what you'll need is a camera, a meteorologist, access to a green or blue screen, a video editing software with a chroma key tool, we will be using Filmora, and video footage of a radar and a forecast. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to edit your video. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to go to the import tool, and this is a blank project in Filmora. So I'm going to import, import media files, and then I'm going for my USB drive, and I'm just going to hit control and click each of those media files that I want and click open. And that will import all of the media into Filmora for me. The next thing I'm going to do, um, so originally there was only one track of um, video here to work from, so I added a second one already, um, so, and I did that by going to this Manage Tracks tool and added a video track. But I have two right here and also a um, audio one as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag my radar footage into that first track. And then I'm going to take the corresponding um, blue screen footage and put it on that second track on top of it. So now we've got the radar footage and the blue screen footage going that are going to play at the same time. Now as you can see the blue screen footage is shorter than or the radar footage is shorter than the blue screen footage. So what I'm going to do is to fix that is I'm going to right click and then I'm just going to copy and paste it next to itself so it's a little bit longer and I'm going to move that track over and I can do that for as long as I need and I can shorten the length of the video once it gets um, to be too long. So now it's longer and I can cut it down. So that's just going to be playing on a loop in the background behind the blue screen footage. Um, now to make the blue screen actually blue, I, or take the blue screen away so it um, works with the tool, I'm going to double click on the blue screen footage and it brings up this video editing um, tools. So the one that um, works for blue and green screen is this chroma key tool. So I'm going to check click it on that. And then you can see the color selected right now is green, but we actually want it to be blue. And we can use this pointer tool and grab the exact blue of the screen from the video. So I'm going to grab a blue that's a little bit more over in the corner so it takes into account um, some of the shadows that didn't completely get taken away from our, um, our lighting system. So you can see just by clicking there, I have um, now taken that background away and you can see the radar behind my meteorologist here. Um, there are also some settings here and you can adjust those as you like. Um, I think for our final I might have changed a few of those settings but overall you can see it's not too bad in terms of um, an edge around her and it's not kind of taking some of the shadows away from her hair is what can often happen that you might need to change the settings for. So that is the basics of putting the um, blue screen uh, it footage in front of a radar and you can see it um, the uh, size doesn't exactly match of the radar footage from the screen so what I did was I just clicked and moved her down a little bit so it didn't have that little spot that cut off her legs so um, if you did a couple of takes you can um, add in the takes uh, Beside it, we did our um, our radar and our forecast separately, so that's what I'm doing there is adding that in, 
and we can click and drag the um, forecast to last as long as we want because it's just an image, it's not a video. Um, and you can see you're going to have to do that chroma key tool again for each new clip of um, uh, green screen or blue screen that you're working with. And then once you have um, everything set up how you like it, you'll just go to click this export video and that will allow you to um, export and save your video where you'd like it to be. And you'd hit this export right down here. As you can see on this Sunday morning, we're going to have rain with a few sporadic thunderstorms. As of now, the rain has already moved into central Kentucky. It's coming in from the west and it's going to continue to move in waves throughout the day. As we look at the three-day forecast, we can see the rain continuing throughout tomorrow and causing a temperature drop for the next few days. A reminder that winter is not over yet. We can expect a dry Tuesday with some clouds overcast. Thanks for watching. If you would like to see more STEM with Chantel videos, check out this playlist. If you want to know when JCPL puts out more content, click the subscribe button and the notification bell.